the story begins where two children listen to the story from their father and tell them to sing the stories to us where their father starts telling them the story. Let's do the story of Agrabah, where Aladdin lived, but despite that one day I used to think about the people before me where a girl saw hungry children and left the shop. She gives some food, but she did not have that kind of money. There, the shop owner created a scene by shouting loudly. He does it, and then Aladdin arrives here and tells the girl that you just trust me. Both of them leave from there, but Aladdin takes back the girl's bracelet from the man with a sleight of hand. That is why he sends many people after Aladdin and the girl to catch them. Well, here Aladdin and the girl were running through the city, somehow they both managed to escape. Are where Aladdin brings this girl to his home. Seeing this girl's clothes, Aladdin understands that there are very expensive clothes, from which Aladdin comes to know that this girl has come from the palace, it is definitely possible that she, she works as a princess. This girl, when she hears Aladdin's words, nods yes. When she looks in the water, she sees that there is a lot of damage there. That is why she tells Aladdin that she is leaving from here now, but before leaving, she gives Aladdin back her bracelet but Aladdin's pocket. He was not there because Abu had kept him with himself, but she calls Aladdin a thief and goes away from there. To see the princess inside the palace came, and this princess was none other than the girl whose name was Yasmin. Jasmine did not like this prince at all. That is why she was not particularly interested in marrying him. We see here Zafar, who is the minister of the king, was. He comes and tells the Sultan that we should attack the neighboring state so that that Sultanate also becomes ours. Then here the Sultan says that Sharawat, we have no problem with the people of, of Sharawat, never attack them, but Zafar is very upset. That is why he controls the Sultan and tries to make him attack Sharawat. But then Princess Jasmine comes here who tells her father that you will give me this sultanate. Why don't you hand it over? Here, Sultan just tells Jasmine that this has been happening for years. Hearing that a man can run the sultanate and a girl can never run the sultanate, Jasmine says that I have made all the preparations to take over the sultanate for many years, but the sultan does not listen to him and asks him to leave from there. When she reached her room, her co-worker Kaniz's name was Dali, the same name was Jasmine. I told Aladdin that her name is Dali. Here, Dali tells Jasmine that she will never marry anyone. Will you do it or not, or have you given your heart to that thief? This is where we see Aladdin in the dark of night. He was about to reach Jasmine by dodging all the soldiers in the palace. But finally, when Jasmine... When she got closer, she still felt that she was not a real princess, but was acting as a princess. Jasmine is the girl who still wanted to keep the lie going. She asks Aladdin, why are you here after all? Aladdin says that there was some difficulty in escaping from the soldiers, but it is not that difficult. Was before leaving, he tells Jasmine to wait for him tomorrow and I will bring him again. But Aladdin there, Jafar is unable to get out of the house. Before he can leave, he is caught by the soldiers. Jafar was looking for such a person, from whom he was going to get a magic lamp, but to get that magic lamp, only, only, the man whose heart is pure can go inside. Seeing Aladdin, Zafar had understood that inside him, Aladdin is absolutely perfect. For Jafar here tells Aladdin that earlier he too used to be a thief, but he wanted the entire kingdom, and the girl you are meeting is a princess. Aladdin finds out that the girl is Jasmine, i.e. a princess, but she lied to Aladdin. Zafar says, I can help you, I can make you very rich but before this, you will have to help me. Zafar, etc., had completely explained to them how to get inside this castle. Have to go. Just keep in mind that he should not touch any kind of jewelry, because if he, if you even touch anything, it will kill you right there from the cave. But Aladdin just has to bring the lamp back. Aladdin now goes inside the cave. Aladdin finally reaches the lamp, but a diamond gets stuck in Abu's hand and Abu touches it, after which the cave gets hot. Lava starts coming, and the whole cave starts trying to kill both of them. But before the cave could kill Aladdin, a magic carpet saved his life. Because that carpet was buried under the stone, and Aladdin took it out. When Aladdin's life was in danger, this carpet saves Aladdin's life. Jafar stands outside the cave and tells Aladdin to give me the lamp, and I will pull you up and save him. But Jafar does not do so. 
He takes this lamp and places it on Aladdin's hand. He presses his foot hard due to which Aladdin falls, but Abu attacks him from above. And in this attack, without Jafar knowing, Abu steals the lamp from him. Now, when Aladdin touches the lamp, the genie comes out of it. The genie comes out and tries to explain to Aladdin that I am a magical being who can fulfill any of your wishes. But Aladdin had heard these things only in stories before today. That is why he does not believe in them. This genie thinks that till date there is no such person who thinks before making his wish. After all, Aladdin asks for his first wish, which was to get all of them out of this. And after that, Jinn starts explaining to Aladdin how to fulfill his further wish. Aladdin was a good boy. That is why he was the first to wish to Jinn. When he asks, what is your wish? What do you want? Then the genie says that till date, no one has asked me this question, but I want to be free. I want because I have been inside this lamp for a long time. I want to be free from these shackles. Now Aladdin asks for his first wish, that he too becomes a king so that he can marry Jasmine. And now in no time, this jinni makes Aladdin a prince completely and says that if we go to Jasmine, then there should be a huge convoy behind you, where those who a lot of things will be arranged for the act. All these people now reach near the palace. But Aladdin gets a... He knew how to act like a prince. That's why he kept saying anything wrong. Nobody likes some things, and Jasmine leaves from there. Then King Aladdin says, Here Aladdin tells the genie that I don't know all these things. He says that I will tell everything so that I can tell you the truth. But the genie says that Aladdin, You shouldn't do this right now. Jafar was not able to understand how a new kingdom can be formed suddenly, after which the evening celebration had started. Now everyone starts dancing here. Due to the magic of Ginny, Aladdin also dances very well with Jasmine. But Jasmine still leaves from here. Aladdin feels that now Aladdin asks Ginny to meet him like a friend. Now Jin reaches near Jasmine, where he first finds branches where Jin takes the flower with him. Aladdin also follows him here, where Jasmine looks at him and says, Prince Ali, what are you doing here? And with this, Jasmine asks Ali, Where have you come from? Can I give you a map of any such place? I am not looking. Is it ever here that Aladdin asks for help from Ginny and shows the place from where he came inside the map? He also calls the same magic carpet to impress Jasmine, and both of them sit around this entire city. Takes a trip where Jasmine also starts liking Ali but Aladdin's way. It was the same as before, and see these things. Jasmine recognizes that you are Aladdin. Then Aladdin lies here and says that no, I am a prince, but I became a common man and reached your kingdom. Was Jasmine accepts these things as true, but here Jafar's parrot was watching all this. And he comes and tells all this to Jafar, and Jafar catches Aladdin here, and he, it is said that I have recognized you, you are not Prince Ali, rather you are a thief and a fraud. Yes, if you have that lamp, then give it to me, and I will bring you down from here, if you escape from here. It clearly means that you have that lamp, and if it doesn't survive, then it doesn't matter to me if you die. Will not be sad after this, he throws Aladdin into the water, but till then, Abu, all this. Things he had seen Aladdin put down the lamp here only after falling into the water. Luckily, Aladdin reaches the lamp when the genie comes out, and he, he sees Aladdin in a very bad condition, where he tells Aladdin to ask him for his second wish so that he can die. I should save you, but by then Aladdin had become unconscious, but according to Ginny his second wish was, and takes Aladdin outside. Jafar tells the Sultan that Prince Ali is missing and he, they are about to attack the city but then Aladdin arrives here. Jasmine tells the Sultan that Jafar is lying to her, and has also tried to throw the prince in the water. Here the Sultan says something. Before he could find it, Jafar hypnotized him, and after which the king also started abusing Aladdin. Aladdin had understood that Zafar was doing all this. For this reason, Aladdin breaks Jafar's stick, but when the Sultan comes to his senses, he gets Jafar arrested. Everything was fine till then. Now here Genie tells Aladdin to, Genie that now you have the last wish left, ask what you want. When Aladdin met Genie, he had told them that I will ask for my third wish to free you but you. Aladdin turns and says, I am very happy to be a prince. Jasmine also likes all these things. If I told everything the truth, that I am a thief, Jasmine would never be able to marry me. Hearing this, Ginny feels very bad. He used to think that I have done so much for him, yet he is only thinking about himself. 
and that is why he comes back. Ginny goes inside the lamp. Aladdin was going home and Jafar takes lamp from Aladdin. Now Jafar is the owner of the lamp. His first wish is that I should be transformed from this sultanate into a kingdom. The Ginny has to fulfill his wish. And now Jafar had become the new king. Jafar, where Jasmine and her father all gets arrested. But then Jasmine tells her commander here that you cannot do this to us. You were with father and us for many years. You will have to choose whether you will do your work for the wrong or do it for us. How can you allow such a person to become king? Later, the commander was the oldest loyalist. He gets all his soldiers removed from it, but then Zafar. And he gets angry and says that, it doesn't matter if you don't agree like this, then I have more. Then he calls the Jinni and asks for his second wish, that he will be blessed with the most powerful person in the world. Now Aladdin arrives here to steal the lamp so that he can compete with Zafar. If he could, Jafar here sends Aladdin away in the snow to a place from where he cannot return. Now, Jafar here. But this troubles both the king and Jasmine, who on the other hand find Aladdin and Abu in a place made of ice. They reach a place from where they cannot return, but then that magic carpet reaches them. Jafar brings them both back to the palace and forces Jasmine to marry him. But instead of marrying Jafar, Jasmine steals the lamp kept by him and jumps from there. But she runs away because she sees Aladdin, and the magic carpet coming from a distance Jafar is here. But with his magical powers he transforms the parrot into a huge bird, and he chases them all. The same king now throws down Jafar's stick, but this makes Jafar more angry, and he again has his stick comes here. He had stolen that lamp again and his magic takes everyone near Jafar who then casts his magic on everyone. And finally, he comes to his third wish. But Aladdin is very intelligent and that is why he tells Jafar that no matter how powerful you become, the most powerful in this world is Jinn, because he is allowing your wish to be fulfilled. And because of these things, Jafar forgets everything. He feels that Jinni is the most powerful, so he should become Jinni only after which he should ask for the third wish from other genie. He wants to be made the most powerful jinn. The genie laughs here and says that you have fulfilled your wish. He made a big mistake in asking. Jafar becomes like a genie here, so he feels that he has a lot of things. All the power is with him, but genie has a role that if genie does not have any master and he has many powers, then he will get confined in a lamp by becoming Zafar genie. It gets locked in the same lamp, which the real Ginny packs away so that it can never come out of there. Here the Sultan apologizes to Aladdin, after which Aladdin also apologizes for what I told you. And now Aladdin has his last wish, which he is going to ask from the Ginny. He demands that the Jinn should be free forever, due to which the Ginny is also very excited that at last someone has. A wish was made for him, and he was free forever. After which King Jasmine, they give a chance to take over this sultanate and say that there is no one better than you to rule this kingdom. He can handle it. And also tells Jasmine that now you are the sultan of this place. Where Aladdin now, he was about to leave this place when Jasmine stops him from behind and then he goes to Aladdin. This Ginny had now married Dahlia. That is why they were very happy here. That is the story which I was telling that he was a Ginny. Tell your children about Aladdin with branches. And with this, the story ends here. Our channel is new, so your support is very much needed, so please subscribe it and share this story with your friends. So how do you all like this movie? Please let me know in the comments.